all right guys so today's video is about smart bracelet so i'm going to show you how you can use your smart bracelet and connect it let's get down to business i have two smart bracelets here they are almost the same thing but the strap are the only differences as you can see so you are going to use same way to connect both of them let me just show you quickly if you want to switch it on your smart bracelet you have to press this circle button that you can see here so you press hold it this way and it's going to switch on as you can see fit pro on both smart bracelet now if you want to connect it just follow the video and let's get down to business if your smart bracelet is not coming up like this the first thing to do is to charge it up i would recommend you use chargers like this 5 volt 1 ampere which you can see here or 5 volt 2 ampere which you can see on this anything more than this is going to ruin your smart bracelet please use 5 volt 2 ampere or 5 volt 1 ampere and the next thing to do is to just fix it into this charging port like this make sure it is touching the connectors here and you can now insert it in your electric socket the charging time will take one hour 20 minutes to fully charge so once it is on like this the next thing to do is to fit your bands on it now i'm going to show you how you can connect it also so the first one should go down here like this while the second one which is the top one will go up here so you can now put it on your wrist now how to connect your smart bracelet to your smartphone all you have to do is to go to your mobile phone and swipe down switch on the bluetooth the data or wi-fi and the location once you have switched on these three then go to the next step the next step is to download fit pro app you can find that on google play store or apple app store search for fit pro app and you are going to see it there so download and install it and once you are ready select open and this will come up the next thing to do is to bring your watch closer to hit y to connect it what you have to do here is to go to the set option here please make sure you grant all permission and continue now you select this bind option up here bind device to experience more features select that option and you are going to see it scanning for your smart watch as you can see these are smart bracelet name here 716 when you select that you are going to see it connected to your smart bracelet so just wait for it it's trying to connect now you can see an icon showing up here that shows it is connecting and now you can see getting data from it is now successfully connected which you can see on the smart bracelet so the next thing to do here is to go to the set option here select set option and you are going to see that your smart bracelet is connected to confirm that select find and select find make sure it vibrates on your smart bracelet that shows that it is truly connected now you can do other settings like getting whatsapp notification on your smart bracelet how do you do that you come to this message push option here select message push option and toggle on all this most especially the whatsapp so let's start with the call reminder so that we can get notification for call reminder and you can see set successfully for sms reminder so that i can get it on our smart bracelet set it and you can select facebook if you want facebook notifications and twitter notification whatsapp notification down here make sure it is toggle on you can go for instagram if you want that too and if you are okay then you can select back option and that is it before we go on let's test our whatsapp and see if it's going to work so i have my smartphone here and i'm going to send a message to this hello have you subscribed okay So I've sent it as you can see it shows on my phone here that hey have you subscribed and on our smart bracelet it has show so if you want to read the message just go to your message select it press down and you are going to see your whatsapp message as you can see hello have you subscribed 
So that is how to receive WhatsApp messages. How to change wallpaper. You have to come to this dial setting here. Select dial settings. And it's going to load up the dial options for you. As you can see, we have some pictures here and some dice here. So if you want to pick any dice, just select anyone that fancies you and install. So let's select this sunrise. And here we can pick anyone that we want. If you want the date to be here, just select it and install. So let's select one and synchronized dial. And select that. It's going to show right on our smart bracelet. So let's select got it here. As you can see the logo showing. Now we have our new watch face. But if you want to change it to your own wallpaper, that is your own picture, just come to this change dial. Don't select synchronize yet. Okay. You can do it this way also. Select any of these watch faces. Just select one of it. Okay. Now you are going to select change dial. Okay. Then it's going to take you to a gallery. Then you select anyone that you want. Like this photo, this is what I want to use. Then you can scale it if you want to zoom in or out any way you want it. So I'm okay with it this way. So I'm going to select the tick option up here. And as, as you can see, it is right there. So if I want to change the placement of the date and time, I can use this to change the placement of the date and time. As you can see, it is showing there. So I think I want it this way. So once I'm okay and satisfied, select synchronize dial and it's going to start uploading. You are going to give this kindly reminder, select got it again and it's going to start uploading. Now you can see the new watch face on our smart bracelet. So that is how to change the wallpaper on your smart bracelet. If you want to change the time on your smart bracelet, as you can see, the time is now the same thing with the one on my smartphone. So if you want to change the time, you just have to press O the circle here. And you can see it has changed to the military time. And if you want to change it back, you can select the middle circle once again. And it's going to change back to the normal time. And if you notice the time is not correct, make sure the time on your smartphone is correct and you can now sync it up with your time on the smart bracelet. If not, whatever time is on the smartphone will be the same time that will be on the smart bracelet. So that is how the time settings work. Some other things that I would like to show you in case you are having difficulty, maybe it is showing Fit Pro Disconnect on your smartphone. All you have to do is to come to this background settings here and grant all permission for it to work. Okay, select background permission and Select this one button opens. So when you select that, make sure you have permission for everything and the notification also is turned on. Select notification, select allow. Okay, so it's going to show you all this. Then you can select back option and make sure your permission are also allowed. Okay, no permission denied. All right, so once you have that, then you can go to the next one and select notification privilege. And select one button open and you can see it says the note has been open then here you can select electronic power limit so that it won't shut it down as you can see it has closed the power mode and once you have done this it's going to sync up with your fit pro smartwatch or smart bracelet and you can use it as you wish and if you want to control music you can check this next video showing here and i'll see you there